holiday weekend and the kids counting the minutes many of them start tomorrow those that didn't start last week back to school, back to school. but sorry to say back to fall and winter and everything else it's a shame but that's uh, okay it's gonna happen tisk tisk hey but you know what we have got interesting gentleman with us today. Well, yes, our first guest today has created a gambling system that works using computer simulations and mathematical modeling techniques to predict the outcome of high lie matches and then to bet on them successfully increasing his initial stake by more than 500 percent. So can that be done? Well, our next guest is the author of Calculated Bets, Computers, Gambling, and Mathematical Modeling to Win. Welcome mathematics professor Stephen Skeena be with us, Stephen. Nice Thank to you have you here. Nice. But we should mention you're also a Fulbright scholar, so does this apply to the common man? I mean, can we embrace these principles? <laughs> no, this is, this is the, uh, the book is written for, you know, a general audience. It's for people who think math is a four-letter word. And um, just, you know, try to introduce some of the ideas of mathematics that uh, come up in gambling. Um, the whole area of probability actually was um, developed by mathematicians like Fermat. You may have heard of Fermat's last theorem. Um, in response to a challenge from somebody who would, was losing money gambling on dice and wanted to know what the real odds were. So there's a connection between gambling and math, and it's a lot of fun, and that's what I try to exploit in the book. And you've been fascinated by the game of high life for, you say, more than 26 years. Yes. Um, we, I started getting interested when we were a kid, being driven down to Florida by our parents. And um, one day, we were taken to a high life match, and my father gave us $2 to bet on one bet, and we followed sort of the local tout sheet, and by some miracle, it won. And suddenly we got hooked on it, and um, it was very, very exciting. But that is a miracle at that point. I that mean, was that, actually that a miracle. That was a complete miracle. No math involved there. It just happened. That was blind, dumb luck. And, but we got, in, you know, we got interested in you know, whether you could do something better than dumb luck. All right. A lot of people are doubting Thomas's about it. There are human beings involved here. And when I've been to High Lie, I have many times seen in the practice sessions, these incredible players who are in fabulous shape, I mean, they're just real athletes, right. there's no question about it, making impossible shots, impossible catches, and then when they play the game, the, the easiest shot, the one that even I think I could make, they miss. Well, it's, it it's, worries me. Again, it's, you know, it's, it's not an easy sport to play. You know, no, it you isn't. have a uh, very, very tiny ball, you have a very, very big basket. That's and the this pelota uh, and the... This is, the ball's called the pelota, the basket's called the cesta. And um, the ball's moving at 150 miles an hour, and so it's not as easy to catch as you think. Right. Um, you know, we have a gambling system. The fact that our system has worked successfully convinces me that this is not, you know, that there, there is not a serious problem with fixing. So now, can you take this and can you take the same principles and apply them to the casinos in Vegas or in Connecticut? Uh, it turns out that one of the things that we exploit about Highlight is it has a very, very interesting scoring system. And the, uh, the, the, the scoring system in Highlight has certain properties that, that even if all players were equally skilled, certain betting outcomes would happen a thousand times more often than others. And um, you can sort of find those kind of biases through computer simulations. And when you factor in um, player skills, you, can, you start to get some kind of an edge. Okay, so tell us in, in the most basic of terms how you would go about doing this. Well, every night our computer program goes over the internet and identifies which players are, who's scheduled to play the next day. Um, we have a record of every player that plays and so we know how good they are. And um, based on this, we sort of do a simulation where we play every game roughly a million times and determine how often every outcome occurs. Based on that, we can, now that we know what the probability is that every outcome will occur, we can make a guess as to what the payoff for that outcome will be. And um, the computer identifies the best bets and then actually phones them in for us to a Connecticut OTB operation. So there's, there's no, no, no human involvement involved at all. It's right, just so a program system. How has it worked out? The suggestion in, in, the, in the material here is that you've increased your stake 500%? Yes. We have, if you, again, the book tells the story of, of the sort of controlled betting that we did. And, um, you know, and you know, during that time, we started out with a stake of $250 and increased it by over 500%. So running these computer models 500 times, I mean, a million times, you said, right? Yes, a million times. A million times. It doesn't still, I, I really want to get it down to the basic terms. I mean, how would a person go about doing this? Well, one of the things that you should do is, um, again, if you, in, in the book, we include tables of what the, let's say, best bets and worst bets are in high life. So if you sort of assumed all players were equally skilled, what would be the... Um, bets that sort of best reflect the probability that certain positions will come out and how the public seems to like to bet. And it also gives some tables for helping you assess how good individual players are. You don't sure. need the computer that you have right. in uh, order you don't to need, do you know, this. You don't need the computer. Um, if, you, if you 
follow the advice in the book. You'll avoid some of the real horrible bets and um, hopefully do well. Again, I, I urge the people of Connecticut to go, go to the front time. You guys spend too much time in casinos. You should be going <laughs> to a highlight <laughs> line. Instead. Oh, goodness. And math is not a four-letter word. So thank you so much. <laughs> Calculated bet, Stephen Skiena. Thank you for being with us. Computers, gambling, and mathematical modeling to win. And we'll be back with more of the program.